Welcome back guys and today we are going to learn how to mine Monero on the new Kryptonite V7 algorithm with NVIDIA, AMD, GPU or with a CPU. So we are not going to use NiceH this time, we are going to mine Monero directly with an XMR stack software. I will show you how to do it step by step and all of the links will be down in the description so you can follow me as I go. So. The first thing you want to do before we start downloading wallets or do downloading miners, you want to disable your antivirus protection. And I currently use Avast and to disable Avast you just click here, go right click on the Avast, Avast shield control and disable until your PC is restarted or one hour or whatever you want to do. Just don't do 10 minutes because once that 10 minutes is done it will start deleting all of your files and you cannot run those miners with your antivirus protection on because it thinks that those programs are viruses so you just have to disable it. So the first thing we have to do to start mining Monero is we need Monero wallet with Monero address and we are going to go to the official Monero website getmonero.org to download and we are going to download Windows 64 bit wallet. So if you're not sure which kind of uh, wallet you need, if you need 32-bit or 64-bit, just go for a 32-bit option because it will work on both systems. But I use 64-bit version, so I'm going to download this one. So we just click this uh, download link and it will start downloading. And once it is done, you just extract that and you will get folder like this one. So when you open this folder, you have to go over here to monerowallet.guim. You can see it by this icon right here. So we're just going to start our wallet and configure it correctly. So the first thing you're going to see is screen like this one. You just click your language you want to use and let's use English. And we want to create new Monero wallet. So just click create new wallet. And over here you will have to enter your wallet name and this is just to use within a system this doesn't mean actually almost anything but the most important thing that you have to save is this here this is your seed word and if you for example lose your password there is no way to recover your wallet if you do not have your seed word so be sure to copy this correctly you can click this button right here so it will copy it to clipboard and be sure to save it somewhere safe i'm going to save it in this note file just like this but this is not safe you should probably save it somewhere else or write it down on the piece of paper and once you're done click next so now we are going to have to set up our password and the strong password is really really recommended because if somebody else gets on your pc you want to be sure that there is no way that they can guess your password so just set up your password and click next so then you're going to see this screen now you don't have to enter anything here you can just click next and just click use monero and that is actually it and we right now have a running Monero wallet which is working perfectly but it will have to sync with all of the nodes and with all of the wallets on the network. So just give it 10 seconds and it will start downloading your blockchain. So this means that you will have a full node running on your PC with the whole blockchain downloaded. And once this is done, you can click on receive address here. So you will see your receive address here and this is the address on which we are going to mine Monero on. So we can copy that and save it into the notepad file to have it for the later use. So just save it right here and we have our Monero address. So once you are done with all of that, you can go and download a miner. And we are going to use an XMR stack miner and this works with AMD, with NVIDIA and with your CPU. So you go to this link here, which is down in the description and you click download this XMR stack for Windows 64 bit version. And you will also get a zipped file, which you extract with WinRAR or 7-zip or whatever you use. And you will get folder like this. And now this is where we have to configure how our miner will be run and on which pools are we going to connect. So before we go to here, we will go to nano pool and to get all of the info that we need 
core pool on which we are going to connect on. So this is not like NiceHash, which automatically connects to the pool. You have to set up your pools by yourself. And if you go to this link, you will see that you have Europe, US East, West, Asia, Japan, and Australia servers. So just choose the server which is closest to you. So copy that server hostname into the notepad with stratum port, and it should look like this. So xmr slash eu nanopool.org, and don't forget these double dots here, and after them you have to put this 14444, which is the port name. So now when we have everything set up, we can start our miner and set it up from there. So just run this XMR stack and you will see it by this icon right here and double click it to start it. So you have to follow me really carefully here so you don't enter anything wrong. So just do as I do and you should have the same settings like me. So the first thing you have to do when you see this, enter 9999 and you can enter enter. So the next thing we can do is select the coin that we wanna mine and you have a lot of options here but we have to set it up for Monero 7 and so just enter Monero 7 right, like this and press enter. So this is just to make sure that we are mining with Kryptonite V7 and not with normal Kryptonite version. So if you remember that address, that pool address that we have copied here before, you just copy it and paste it here and press enter. So, username or valid address. So we need our valid which we got before from here. So we also have this copied down here and we are just going to copy it and paste it right here and press enter. Make sure that you have chosen the right Monero wallet because if you enter just one letter or number wrong, you could be mining to a totally different person so they will get all of your hashes. So the password is mostly empty and it is empty on Nanopool so you don't have to enter anything, just press enter. You have few options here but you don't have to also enter anything here, you can press just enter and leave it empty. So the next thing you press N for no and you do this three times, also press enter here and also press uh, N and enter here. And this is it, we have actually started mining coins right now and first time mostly the miner will crash by itself and this is because the settings in the config files are not set up correctly and we will see and wait if the miner will crash for the first time or if it will continue mining. So this NVIDIA CUDA error actually crashed my recording software and I have to do this part all over again. So, to fix this error, you have to go to your folder where you have your XMR stack files. And you have to click on NVIDIA text document right here. And after you click that, you will see this open. And now to fix this error, you have to just change few numbers right here. And change this B factor to 8, and by default it is like 6 or something lower, just put it to 8. B slip put to 25 and threads put to 30 if you are using GTX 180 Ti. But now if you are using some other GPU than this, which most likely you are, you have to set threads amount to as high as you can without any crashes. And by default it, is, it will be something like 60 and it is way too high for your GPU to handle. And this is all done by default by the XMR stack and you have to change those numbers manually. So just start with something as low as like 15 or 20 and if your GPU is still crashing continue to enter lower numbers. But once you get those miners to run steadily start increasing it by one point and once you see it crashes again just reduce it to the biggest amount of threads that you can run on your GPU without any crashes. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you want to see me do some other miners for NVIDIA, for AMD or for CPU mining. So see you soon in another video and bye.